I'm Cadet Third Class Megan Davis. Cadet Third Class Derek Richardson. And this is your Academy Insider. The class of 2014. Zimmer! Yes. <laughs> recently had their exemplar dinner where they chose the exemplar for their class, which happens to be Lieutenant Colonel Jay Zemer. Zemer. And uh, Megan actually. Zemer. <laughs> Zemer. Megan, what is exactly uh, an exemplar? An exemplar is someone who a class chooses to exemplify, go figure, as they go throughout their remaining three years at the academy. This started in the year of 2000 when uh, General James Doolittle was chosen, chosen as their exemplar and it has since continued as tradition. Mm -hmm. And we induct them uh, in the beginning of our sophomore year, our three degree year, with a dinner. Uh, Jay Zemer, his example, uh, helps these cadets be better officers. Uh, it's, it's the whole point of the Air, Air Force Academy curriculum, military training, athletic training, is to produce the best officer possible. And nights like this are a big part of that. The uh, bombardier mortally wounded, the pilot, Lieutenant Colonel Zimmer, dreadfully injured, bleeding profusely. <clears throat> In fact, he was quoted as saying after the fact that the uh, controls of the aircraft were so slippery with blood that I had a hard time controlling the aircraft. Now imagine yourself in that situation, and that's the kind of man you were looking up to. We selected him, and the class voted on it about Thanksgiving last year, and the way that works is the class president forms a committee and they volunteered hours of their time uh, sifting through a lot of historical figures that we could have chosen as exemplar. And that's where it started. It, I think it was like 20-something names were on their table, and they went, sifted through about six, and then we voted from there. So we really celebrated it, kind of got his family out here, um, made it official pretty much. Delivering that precious cargo, including the photographs and the crew members. After which he endured a grueling 15-month recovery, initially left for dead, of course, a grueling 15-month recovery, awarded the Medal of Honor in January 1944. And he would have told you that after this mission, and he, I'm sure he said during his Medal of Honor speech, that it was not me, but it was my crew. Who exactly is Lieutenant Colonel Jay Zemer, and why do we choose him as our exemplar? Well, Lieutenant Colonel Jay Zemer is a Medal of Honor recipient, mostly known for the mission he and his crew flew over the southwestern Pacific. It was a photo reconnaissance mission that nobody else wanted to go on, but him and his crew, the eager beavers of course, went on it anyways. They exemplified the three words that General Clark charged us with to exemplify, selflessness, tenacity, and warrior spirit. It's a great example of leadership. And uh, speaking of leadership, actually, we recently had um, the former Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Retired Peter Pace, United States Marine Corps, come and speak to us um, about his leadership uh, experiences as the Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff. And he also got the uh, T.D. White Award, which is an award given to um, someone who's done a significant contributions to the uh, National Defense of the United States. We expect lieutenants to make decisions, and we expect lieutenants to make mistakes. All we ask is you not make the same mistake twice. Get out there and push the envelope and make the decisions. Now, part of the decision process is whose decision is it? If you know it's your decision, make it. You're going to be right 90% of the time. Man, if I've got four lieutenants making decisions that are 90% right, I'm happy as their boss to help them clean up the 10% they get wrong. If you know it's your decision, make it. If you know it's your boss's decision, get it to him or her as fast as you can because you're burning daylight and, and, you, and the most precious commodity you have is time. So get it to the person who has the authority to make the decision. But there's a gray area. In the gray areas, hmm, I'm not sure if it's mine or his. In that case, I recommend this to you. Think through what you would do if it is your decision, and then go to your boss and say, hey boss, I'm not sure if this is my decision or yours. If it's mine, this is what I'm gonna do. If it's yours, this is what I recommend you do. I really did enjoy uh, General Pace's speech, actually, especially the part where he mentioned how disciplining your troops shouldn't be done in a 
loud tone, like a TI tone. You should leave that to those. But rather just mentioning your disappointment. And I found that I can agree with that if my mother ever said, Megan, disappointed in you. It had much more effect than her yelling at me, which I just brushed off and went back to my room. <laughs> I've been told that effective leadership and influence isn't based off of yelling. So there's other ways to get your points across. Um, the Academy also recently uh, sponsored the um, Academy Assembly. It's been convened annually here at the Academy since 1959, and it's uh, co-sponsored by the Air Force Academy and the Columbia uh, University American Assembly. And it includes uh, a number of Rhodes Scholars, Olmsted Scholars, and other um, noted, speakers. <laughs> noted speakers who uh, talk about uh, a topic that's contemporary and relevant um, currently. And it's uh, sponsored by a political science department, but it is completely cadet run. What I think is important to understand that when you're looking at perhaps the, the struggle for influence over in Europe right now, it's, it's almost between the states as actors themselves and then between the EU on whether, basically what the states want to do as far as ceding their own national sovereignty towards the EU. To protect themselves, their, 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 their recent talk of forming a Eurasian Union um, with the, the, to cluge on to uh, an, a, an existing economic union that Belarus, Russia, and Kazakhstan have formed. And that Eur Eurasian Union would include uh, the rest of Central Asia and Ukraine. And Ukraine right now is sort of the critical cog in that machine. If you want to check out full videos of either the T.D. White Award Parade or if you want to see more information about our 2014 Zimmer. Class Exemplar, you can check out the uh, USAF official Facebook page for those links. Until next time, I'm Cadet 3rd Class Megan Davis. Cadet 3rd Class Derek Richardson. See you next week. I kind of wish it would work. Student cat. Okay, um, I have a microphone.